Hey, it's 29 January 2016, 3.40 a.m. I am about to go to the gym. I woke up in the middle of the night because I was, I just uh, couldn't sleep. And um, I checked my sleep app and I probably was in bed for about four hours. Um, it fluctuated from deep sleep to awake. And usually that's been happening because of the humidity. I just, it's intolerable. Um, the humidity is at an average like you know 20 to 30 percent in my bedroom so I've opened up a window got a humidifier going hopefully after my work on returning um, the environment will be better and I'll fall asleep better because I sleep better when it's colder anyway um, but I do want to be productive so that's why I'm going to the gym at this time and I'm gonna kick it off with the full body workout um, so that's going to be interesting. I'll I'll have to maybe record my workout because this is the first time I'm doing some of those exercises, such as the bear crawl and other kind of things. Um, so I'm hoping that I have the mobility to do it as well as the proper form. Um, but it will be very revealing, and uh, uh, I'll document it. All right. Uh, other than that, I do have to document some gastrointestinal issues. I, I feel inflammated. Um, that's that could be anything. Um, my yes, the diet yesterday was was pretty good, um, but I did finish off dinner with about a cup of coconut ice cream. Um, I'm not sure if that did it or it was the Tabasco sauce that I started adding in a cup of rice that I ate. Um, so, and it could be the rice also. I anytime that you go without a food or uh, like a macronutrient, maybe. Um, or not macronutrient source for a long time I've, I've heard that you can get an intolerance or sensitivity so perhaps there's something going on I did eat toast too so um, it could be anything from gluten intolerance to maybe there's some lactose in that coconut milk I don't know uh, coconut ice cream alright that's my update thank you